Hello everyone, this is Azzy Briggs and I'm here to showcase part of the Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7 CMF. The rest of the figures will be revealed in Swiss's video which you can check out down below. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and it will be greatly appreciated. I had a fun time making the CMF and I hope that you guys liked how it turned out. One last thing before I begin, make sure to use code Swiss if you're getting anything from the Fortnite item shop or Epic Game Store. And with that being said, let's start the showcase. First up is two Meowsles. He is an item shop skin and is a unique one for sure. He is using a new head mode as well as he does have some printing on the torso. Not too much going on for him overall but still like how he turned out. Next up is Aphasia Assassin. She does have a new mode for her hair which I added a great into. Like how that turned out and definitely making it more accurate to the skin. It's a simple figure for sure but still looks pretty good. Tizuki is one of my favorite skins in Fortnite and when I saw her edit style, I knew I had to include her into the CMF. She's using the Barbara Gordon hairpiece in black and also uses the cloth skirt piece. Really liked how she turned out and is one of my favorites out of the series. In addition we have Superman, which is crazy to say in a Fortnite CMF. He just has some dual molded boots and has the same hairpiece that Lego mainly uses for him. This figure is a bit inspired by the Superman figure in the included in the DC CMF which explains the shading on the torso, this time I point that out. One last thing before I move on, I did make a shadow version of him which technically isn't included in, in the CMF, but I figure you guys would like to see how he looked in a shadow style. Speaking of shadow, we have Shadow Ruby, you can actually get her for free if you have a PC which is pretty cool, but besides that she is using the same new hairpiece that Athleisure Assassin uses, she does have some decent printing on the torso as well as some white stripes on her arms and legs. Another nice looking figure. Lastly is Dizzy. She is the starter pack for the season and is one of the best ones. This is another favorite of mine. Well, at first I wasn't a fan of the figure. That's because I was using a whole different hair mold and really didn't like how it looked on her. So last minute I decided to make a new one and it was totally worth it. She also has some detailed printing on the torso, legs and arms. And yeah, that's pretty much it for her. Really like how she ended up. And we have reached the end. Which one was y'all's favorite and who would you like to see in the next series? I would like to know. Again, if you haven't yet, go check out the rest of the figures on Spooce's channel. There are some pretty cool ones over there. And that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys like the series. You guys have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.